if you are authentic to who you are, it's going to come through. Even if the video quality is poor, if the angle's a little bad, you, you, the authenticity about what you're speaking and your, and your personal expertise is really what kind of cuts through everything. Hey everyone, it's Joshua Carlson. In today's Ask an Expert series, I'm going to be speaking with Nick Latour, who is the national sales manager for Imagine Brands, one of the larger promotional products companies in the U.S. Nick's taken a very interesting approach to social media with a unique series called Mondays with Nick, which has garnered a lot of attention in the industry and has really helped elevate his profile and the company. Stay tuned and see what he's been doing. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today, Nick. Thanks, Josh. It's really uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Great. So I'm going to jump right in. Uh, first question I have is, could you tell me a little bit about the Imagine brand um, and what you do there? Yeah. Uh, so Imagine Brands is a promotional products manufacturer. So we're, we're kind of like a wholesaler. We bring products to market and we put logos on them. And then our customers are distributors who purchase them in bulk and then sell them, resell them to the end user. Okay. To the uh, so... Company. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing that actually caught my eye recently is um, you've begun a series that's actually started getting a, a lot of popularity, um, specifically in the social media space, uh, called Mondays with Nick. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what this, this series is? Yeah, um, I guess a couple of years ago, you know, as you know, probably better than I do, marketing is about being top of mind, but also about, you know, having having a repeatable, sort of a repetition, sort of a, a reliable cadence to it. Um, and a couple of years ago, kind of as a goof, I started doing these social media posts, um, heading into Monday, like, and I would kind of stare off. It's, it was kind of a goof, but all the whole, any, as you can see, Monday, um, anything branded Monday, anything Monday I've done has really stemmed from the idea that I, want, I need to get in front of more customers. I've always had a sort of national sales role. And so it's hard to always be top of mind, always be in front of the customer. Um, so I started sort of doing this Monday, very methodically. Every Monday I do something and my customers came to expect it from me. They would say, hey, what are you doing next Monday? So for sure. a year, it was kind of these pictures or short little posts and very non, non-salesy, no, no calls to action, just kind of why is Nick staring off into space this way? And that sort of evolved into the idea that, man, I, you know, I'd like to quantify what I'm doing here a little bit. So let's bring some products into the mix. So I started Mondays with Nick as a video series, also posted every Monday, where I showcase a video. But even that isn't just kind of a straight up, hey, look at this tumbler. Here's the yep. price by now. It's, it's, a, it's a unique spin on what, what I think maybe a, a promotional product could be, or maybe I'm completely made something up about where it came from. And I do a little skit in there. I want it to be memorable, kind of funny, but information packed as well. So Mondays with Nick is a time timing wise every Monday morning, people can get up with me and kind of hook open my video and my customers at least who care about it. Maybe you care about it too, Josh. I'm not sure, but uh, they can open up with me and kind of see what's going on. Maybe reshare it with their customers. I make it very safe and, no pricing, no, you know, no, no inside business there. It's all, it's all in the up and up and all uh, face value kind of stuff. So sure. Um, it's turned into a, yeah, a Monday thing. It's, it's my way of reaching out to the customers. What I think is interesting is I think promotional products, um, just kind of from a lay person's perspective is, uh, they're just around, right? You know, whether it's it's the mug, it's the pen, it's the squeeze ball, it's the little Furby thing, right? These products are just around and they just resonate over and over. Ex exactly. I saw yesterday's Monday, Monday profile. Um, what's interesting to me is that you've actually really put the spotlight back on the, the relevancy of these products um, by, by taking this interesting approach. Um, but I've heard you talk before something about kind of Mondays, right? So, you know, Mondays for a lot of people, it's kind of like the, the dread day of the week. You, you have a different perspective. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, for those of us who grew up in the, the 80s, I, I'm like the anti-Garfield. Um, I feel like there's always kind of that uh, the feel, you know, you'll see the memes or the, Oh, another Monday, kind of, as you alluded to, it's like, Oh, Monday, I got to go to work for me. And, and this really started happening when I got into this industry, the promotional products industry is very, um, 
it's fun. It's for people like me that are extroverts that, that want to be creative, that want to get out there and, and sling products, but also sure. do it in their own way. So I found myself when I got into this industry 2015, waking up on Mondays and literally being like ready to go, excited for work. And, I, and no offense to my old bosses, I love them, but I didn't have that feeling before. I didn't have a feeling until I got into a, a role that really suited me and my creativity. And so really, I actually found that Mondays were kind of a day uh, I look forward to. And so this all sort of tied in with my little self-branding sort of sales campaign that I have here. So um, yeah, I, I, I like checking my inbox on Monday mornings and getting started on projects or posting my videos or, or you know, selfishly doing the things I do for Monday. But, sure. but also my customers kind of have a new lease on it as well. So, so hopefully I'm feeding into that. But I really do like Mondays. I know it sounds sick, but. Well, that's what I think is interesting is this campaign is actually, I, I think it's brought a lot of joy to people, right? It's one of actually the first things that I look forward to on a Monday is this is part of my, you know, getting the week process started is, Hey, what is the new video? So I'm always interested in, you know, I'm two hours behind you. So just sorry, by the time I'm actually in the office, it's already there. So it's a good way for me to, you know, have the cup of coffee and kind of, kind of step into it. So um, next question, and, and this is one that, you know, we've been experimenting with here um, as we've pivoted, right? COVID's kind of changed paradigms and business models. Um, we've been doing, been doing video previously, but we've been doing a lot more of it. Um, can you share kind of your insights from when you first started this series to where you are today? Um, and, and I think the perception that I get as we are introducing video to people is that video seems overly complicated, right? Um, and, and so it, it, there's a hesitancy for people to get involved in it. How do you approach video and, and how easy or hard has it been as you've uh, incorporated this Mondays with Nick? Yeah, I, so <clears throat> I think humanization, uh, you know, we live in a uh, technological world, so it's easy to have these automated systems that don't feel very personal. But like humanizing our businesses, even if we are like an app or one of these companies that's very technical, still having a human touch is important to me. And I think video showcases that better than anything else because sure. you're seeing people move and you're seeing their, you know, so in a weird way, some, you know, like an overly produced video seems like less personal than yeah. maybe a video like I do. So when I got into it, we all have, we all have cameras. We all have cell phone cameras that are actually very high quality. Um, I personally use an iPhone and iPhone has a built in, uh, video editing software called iMovie. It's super intuitive. So when I started doing these movies, I was a little bit, I kind of did, you know, trial and error. I, I would film myself talking and you can really splice it pretty easily. So that's you like cut and take things out. That's pretty easy. But adding effects is, you know, you is a little more difficult. What I find is if I'm just acting like myself and I've got a sales team that I work with that I manage and some other people that I'm trying to add, have, uh, have video added to their repertoire. And what I find is, and what, and we knew this in the real estate industry too, there was a company called Bomb Bomb that I'm gonna give them a little shout out. But yep. what we find yep. is the more authentic you are and, and the, the more you're speaking from the heart. And by the way, this translates into personal one-on-one -on -one meetings as well. If, you're, if you are authentic to who you are, it's gonna come through even if the video quality is poor, if the angle's a little bad. You, the authenticity about what you're speaking and your, and your personal expertise is really what kind of cuts through everything. So what I would tell people is video is extremely powerful. I found it powerful in what I'm doing for work, um, showcasing things. But no matter what you do, what line of work you do, I would say add video to the mix as far as your touches to your customers and to your everyday, um, um, your everyday work because people are going to see you in a real, in a real light. Um, and, and the motion and the, the sounds of video kind of do play something with our brain. I think that really kind of adds the, the trust uh, value that we bring. Yeah, and that's, that's a good takeaway. I think, you know, feedback that I've been seeing, um, not only being distributed by marketing experts, but just actually seeing media today, just from my own person, um, 
the authenticity factor, I think that that's a big takeaway, right? So you can go high production value and there, there will always be a case for that. Um, or you can go lo-fi, right? You know, keep it simple, use your camera phone. Um, but it's that authenticity just being you um, that I think is important. We're actually trying to get another individual on just to talk about getting comfortable in front of the camera because there is kind of this, you know, obtuse kind of awkwardness when people get on camera that I think if you can get past, then it does allow for your, you know, your authenticity to come through um, because that's, that's what's really going to speak to people. So um, yeah. next question I have is once you do all of these videos um, or once you get a video and it's finalized, um, what is your strategy from a social media standpoint um, to get it out into the marketplace? So, and me personally, maybe it's because I sort of already started building the Monday idea. Um, I want to be the first thing people see when they open social media on Monday morning. Uh, that, that's kind of like the bare bones strategy of it is produce something that I've started that I think people will find informative and hopefully kind of funny and, and memorable. But, and you mentioned COVID earlier, you kind of hit on, we're at home, we're working from home. The first thing a lot of people do, and we all know this is, you know, you wake up, your phone alarm goes off and you're like, turn it off and you're like, what happened on Facebook to, you know, what, what did I miss last night after I went to bed or what, who, who tweeted what today? Sure. And I want to be the, I want to see, I want someone to come up and see this little Mondays with Nick logo and be like, Oh, what's Nick got today? And I want, that's kind of, that's my whole approach strategically is <clears throat> come in Monday morning and get everyone's week started with a bang. I'm glad you said that it gives you a smile. Cause that's kind of the thing too, you know, like, take ourselves too seriously. And, and, and if you know me as a person, I, I really, I don't take myself that serious. I take my work very seriously, but I don't take me as a, I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Sure. What I get joy in is making people smile and laugh and, and helping people. So this is kind of what the videos do for me selfishly. Um, but I've seen, um, so between me and you, and I guess whoever's watching this, I was just uh, named the director of social media for our, our company. Okay. And also between me and you, I don't, well, thank you. Um, but I'm, I don't really consider myself a social media expert. I love it and I use it. I utilize it. And maybe I shouldn't sort of admit this on this kind of format, but um, the reason they did that, I think is because they can, they can see the things I'm doing that are strategic, but also there's like a, there's a creativity and a nuance to, to social media that's hard to teach and hard to tell. Um, without using the word authenticity, you know, some of us are more entertaining authentically and are more entertaining naturally than others, but, right. but you know, you, you can sniff a fake immediately. So I think part of the reason that I'm in this role now for our company is to humanize our larger company. Instead of being a robotic corporation, we want to interact with people. We want to put some things out there that, that feel like people are hearing, or I'm sorry, that, that are, that are nice, but then if they do comment or if people want to interact with us, we're interacting back as a human, not as Imagine Brands Corporation, right? Right. Well, you touched on a word earlier, you know, to, authenticity is I think one, you know, specifically within social video that is, it's being used a lot, right? Um, but you touched on a word earlier, uh, consistency, right? You know, obviously when, when this first started, you know, you didn't have a following, right? It, it literally started, you know, with a post and, and to where it is today, I think what is interesting, right? And, and I won't claim to be a social media expert either, um, but I just see it, right? Specifically, we're in the B2B space. So I'm on LinkedIn a lot more than the other platforms, but I used to have to go search your video, right? Um, you know, let me go look up what Nick posted today to where it's actually rising to the top of my feed now. And I think it's that consistency this modeled with the authenticity, which to your point, some of us are, you know, a little bit more comedic, some of us are a little bit more serious, some are clever, whatever that is, being consistent and being true to who you are, eventually will get the eyeballs of the kind of people that you want, right? They're, they're gonna be the people that are seeing it. So um, I, I think those two things work hand in hand. Um, I am curious, you know, obviously, we're all still in this transition phase, and I think we're gonna be for, for quite a while what are you guys seeing from a, a promotional industry um, that is either happening right now or you think might slowly happen um, as, as we kind of get, I guess, a, accustomed to this new norm? Yeah, a big piece of our business is corporate programs and, you know, you'll have a company, a, a Dell or a Microsoft that has literally tens of thousands of employees that they 
must take care of. And now offices are empty. People are going to be coming back to offices. So I'd say one of the biggest, like in our industry right now, the, you know, P, and as is in the world, PPE is like the, the key phrase. Yeah. Masks, gloves, anything. And, 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 you know, we're, we're the experts at putting logos on things. Sure. But our customers, the end users, the, the, everybody's asking for just whatever you can get right now because of the economy. It's going to shift into more logos on masks. We'll be doing those and we'll be doing some other PPE products. But right now it's what, what can you do for these large companies to get them products that they need? PPE is the key, but secondarily, we're finding, um, and, and you might dig this from a marketing perspective, very successful campaign we just did. We wanted to do a soft kind of promotion. We called it Hug in a Box. So okay. what we did was we printed up this gift box on top of it said um, uh, a hug from us, uh, a hug to you. I should know this. Um, so you open this box and when you open it, you get a, you have a, a um, plush stuffed animals is one of our products. So sure. you, you have a bear that's in the box and it okay. says, we appreciate you on the t-shirt. So we send this and with a little card with a nice appreciative sort of love note to our customers yep. and they open it up and they're like, Oh, cause they're stuck at home. They've been stuck at home for a few weeks at this point. And we're just sending them a hug, right? Hug in a box. Um, so, Sorry, fell down. So, so this, the, the, the other market besides PT, PPE that we're seeing is sort of comfort gifts as well. Things yeah. where people are at home now, they're not, they can't go to the, 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 off, the supply room and get a pen or get, a, get their stuff. So they're at home working from home. They receive these gifts from, their, from Dell, from Microsoft that say, hey, here's your work from home kit. Oh, and also a little hug for you, from us to you. So from a marketing standpoint, we're seeing a lot of these sort of self-promotion gifts, we call them, or self-promotion ideas where it's a company's not buying it to sort of resell it or give out at a trade show. They're, they're, they're keeping it in house to, as, a, as a comfort sort of gift. Sure. Um, there's a big That's good to hear. I know with the social distancing that we're having, you know, if you're not accustomed to working remotely, um, I, I transitioned about two years ago. I know it, it was definitely a struggle for me, right? Not having the people next to you. So I think that's a great way to take a product that you guys already had and put a nice twist on it and make it, you know, really you're elevating its value um, by, by having that emotional connection because it's real. Um, and I, I have no doubt very well appreciated uh, for the people that are getting it. So um, last question, you know, we've talked about a lot of different things from, from the series to kind of the products. Is there anything else uh, top of mind that uh, you, you want to share today? Um, you know, I guess you want to interview me. So I'll tell you sort of something about me that I'm feeling and maybe, I don't know, how, you know, just because is there anything else I want to share? I feel like sharing this. Maybe okay. I'm cooped up. Maybe I just want to share something, Josh. I don't know. But I feel like something that's helped me during this time <clears throat> work-wise, person, personally with my friends and my family is, is, is the idea that, and I'm lucky that I can get into this mindset, but the idea of sort of that we've all kind of, we really have sort of while we're socially distant in a weird way, we have the opposite effect. We're, we're all, my, the relationships, the personal relationships I have mean so much more to me, which sounds bad. And don't tell my family that don't tell my friends that it didn't mean as much before. Sure. It always meant a lot, but, but I'm recognizing, I'm able to realize, um, that, you know, that if I receive a hug in a box from like, you know, I don't want to get emotional here, but I, you know, my mom stopped by today and brought chips and salsa to my door. Yeah. She said it, I said, set it down. I'm going to go away. I'm not, right. not touching each other, but she just showed up and brought me a little gift to my doorstep. I couldn't hug her. I couldn't do anything. But if she would have done that three months ago, I'm like, Hey, that's very nice. Thanks mom. But she did it today and I like broke down. So I don't know what I'm getting at is I think that there's, um, I think that right, that being positive right now and, and being, and, and seeing, uh, being able to wake up on a Monday and hopefully make, put smiles on people's faces and be in the right mindset to do that right now sure. has been this sort of ultimate, like emotional boost for me during this time. And, and, you know, talking to work, talking sales and, and marketing, this is like, this is how we can keep going and keep staying strong and consistent during very inconsistent times. Yeah, that's, that's a good takeaway. It, it reminds me, I just did a webinar um, and it, it closed with the saying that we fall seven times, we get up eight. Um, and, and, you know, I think that this togetherness, even though we're not physically together, um, 
certainly mentally um, and emotionally, we feel more connected um, to a lot of people. And, and I'm seeing that echoed everywhere, right? So, you know, not only with personal family and friends, but with colleagues, with past employees, um, having real genuine conversations, um, it's just meaningful and it's, it's uplifting for the soul. Um, so definitely is, is rewarding. So, well, listen, thank you. Um, I don't want to keep you very much longer. I really appreciate you coming on this um, and look forward to connecting again soon. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, man. Have a great day.